All right, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA, and this is happening. As you guys know, or most of you guys know, that my favorite two players in the NBA, it was Kobe and Dwayne Wade. Kobe's retired, so now it has to be only Dwayne Wade. Like, bro, I can't believe this right now. Dwayne Wade, according to Woj, Dwayne Wade has agreed to sign with the Chicago Bulls. And normally, I don't even do news, NBA news videos like this because that is only like being a view horror. But this is the thing, Dwayne Wade, bro. Oh my god, like this, I just, I still can't believe this. Look at this team Jimmy Butler, D Wade, Rondo. I mean, let's even throw Robin Lopez in there. I mean, he's not the best, but he's still, he's still above average. Like, I can't believe, like, this team, this team can actually make the playoffs. This went from being a team with no playoff hopes for next season to being a team that can possibly advance to the conference finals. I mean, I mean if you look at the East, who else is really there? I mean, you can say the Knicks, but if the Knicks turn out well, they're going to be good, but they still have some injury problems that they might not get over. But I just can't believe, I mean, after after 13 years, Dwayne Wade is signing with the Chicago Bulls. And to be honest, y'all, this is from a fan reaction. This is all Pat Riley's fault. I mean, Pat Riley played with fire, and he lost. And I, I really think that this is going to show how not of a genius Pat Riley really is. I mean, people give Pat Riley so much credit for bringing in Shaq, for, for, bringing, for bringing in LeBron and Chris Bosh. But let's be honest, y'all. If, if Wade was not there, none of that shit was going down. I'm being completely honest with y'all. None of that was going on if Dwayne Wade was not there to recruit all those players. I mean, Shaq was not coming to a team without Dwayne Wade, who their other best player was like Udonis Haslam. And, and LeBron was not coming to a Heat team where their second best player would be Mario Chalmers. I'm sorry. Like, that, that's not going down. And I think that Dwayne Wade really didn't get all the credit that he that he really deserved for, me, for making both those moves happen y'all but let me know y'all's opinion on this whole Wade signing y'all I think I think this is awesome I mean Dwayne Wade has been he's been he's been so generous to Miami for the last 13 years and for the for the last like six years he's been willing to take a pay cut for this team's su success and now he wants his payday I mean Chris Bosh is making more money than him and I, I never thought that Chris Bosh was even worth it and now Chris Bosh is even out but Besides that, Chris Bosh was never even worth more than Wade. And now you guys max out Hassan Whiteside. I'm being honest, you guys, you guys made the worst move ever because now you guys don't even have some money to mentor any of your young guys. Hassan Whiteside only resigned because he thought Wade was coming back. Now you guys are going to have an unhappy Hassan Whiteside in a team that can't really develop because they're all so young. Like Justice Winslow and Wade was mentoring Justice Winslow. You guys took away his mentor. I mean, what can he really become now? I mean, he's going to start granted, but I mean, what can he really do now that Wade's gone? You guys are probably not going to make the playoffs next year. I'm being honest. Miami Miami without Dwayne Wade, they are not in the playoffs. I mean, Goran Dragic and Hassan Whiteside are not going to be putting in work like that. Hassan Whiteside is good on defense. That nigga is not raw on offense. Matter of fact, he's kind of, he's kind of ass on offense. So, Pat Riley, thank you for bringing Dwayne Wade to the city of Chicago where Jordan played. So now... So now two out of the three top shooting guards ever were both on the Chicago Bulls. That sounds good to me. But now, y'all, but anyways, y'all, it's time for me to go ahead and cop a Dwayne Wade Chicago Bulls jersey, y'all. Make sure to like this video if you guys want to see more NBA news. And I also uploaded a video early on, earlier today, which was episode one of my Sixers My League with Ben Simmons. It's, it's titled The Ben Simmons Era. Check that out on my channel, y'all. And subscribe if you guys are new. Other than that, y'all, once again, let me know y'all y'all's opinion in the comment section below. I really want to hear it. I want to hear everybody's opinion on Dwayne Wade signing with Miami. Don't call him unloyal. Don't call him unloyal because only a fool would resign. Like he's been loyal for 13 years. Only an idiot would resign and take less money than than, than he's worth. And you can say that Dwayne Wade is old and washed up and stuff like that. But in reality, he still brings something very very valuable to a team. He he has championship experience and he can mentor all of their all of their young guys. And you and you can bet that Jimmy Butler is going to be under this man's wing. But anyways, y'all, like I said before, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my video tomorrow. Peace, y'all.